Hola, bienvenido a mi canal. Suscríbete y da like si os gusta el video. Hello, welcome to my channel. Subscribe and press like if you like it. Welcome back to another video for the GESE5. Today we are going to look at some grammar that has to do with special occasions, specifically verbs that you can use when you're talking about birthdays. We are going to start with regular verbs. Okay, so on this side is going to be the present, and this is going to be the past. For instance, a verb that you can use uh, for talking about birthdays is celebrate. And in the past, we would say celebrate it. Another verb that you can use is dance. And in the past, we would say danced. Another verb would be invite. And you could say in the past, invited. Okay, so let's stop for a moment and and let's look at the sounds here. So when it's a T and ED, it makes a sound id. Celebrate it. And that's because we have the T here. When we have a word that ends with E, we need to look at the letter before it. And in this case, we're looking at the C. So this would be danced. The C would make this sound as a T. Danced. And in this sound, we have once again the word that ends with E, but we need to look at the letter before, which ends with T. And because of that, that would be invited. So invited. Okay, so let's look at the next verbs. Another verb that you could use is remember. Remember. And we would say remembered. Remembered. And another verb that you could use is want want so here we could say wanted wanted you could also use the verb wait wait and that would be waited waited and finally, we could use the verb wish, wish, and that would be wished, wished. Okay, so here we are going to look at the letter R, over here at the letter T and T, and over here we're going to look at SH. So, when when we have the letter R, it's going to make the sound like D. Remembered. Remembered. But with T, it's like these ones. It's id. Wanted. Wanted. This is the same thing. It's also the sound of id. Waited. Waited. And finally, in this one, we have the sound of D. Wished. Wished. Okay, so now let's 
look at how um let's look at some irregular verbs that can also help us when we're talking about birthdays. Okay, so this is for irregular verbs. So the thing with the irregular verbs is that we have three columns. We have one, two, and three columns. When we're talking about irregular verbs, we need to keep in mind that each column has a name. So this is called the bare infinitive. This is past simple. And this is past participial. Okay, so now that we know the names, let's look at some verbs. For example, uh, uh, one verb that we can use is bear, bore, born. Like you might say, when were you born? I was born in April, born. So this is probably going to be the most popular option out of the three because we're talking about the past when we say we're born. Okay, another verb that we can use is blow, blue, blown. So these words, um, these verbs are, are used when we are talking about maybe blowing out candles from a birthday cake. We can also use bring, brought, and it repeats itself, brought. Okay, so this and this column will be said the same. So maybe you can bring a present. Um, then we have the verb give. Give, gave, given. And maybe the, per the present that you brought, you gave it, you brought it and you gave it to the birthday girl or the birthday boy. Okay, so another verb that we can use is make. Make, made, made. So this is an other verb that repeats itself in the second and third column. So maybe we can say the mother she ma she made the birthday cake. And finally, we can use the verb sing. Sing, sang, sung. So after the mother made the birthday cake, she brought it out and everybody sang happy birthday. Okay, so I hope you find these verbs helpful when you're talking about birthdays. If you like the video, press like and subscribe. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.